everyone. I'm assuming that we're live. <laughs> um, I just want to say welcome. Um, welcome to a Lunch and Learn where we are going to be using storytelling and theater and all this creative energy to play back people's stories. My name is John Johnson. Um, and today we're talking about our best moments. Um, you know, unfortunately, we are in this digital world because there is a pandemic and, and there's been a lot of, of, of challenges in that. But there's also been brilliance in that, and and there's been we've had good moments in that too. So I'm going to introduce myself and share my story, and we're going to introduce the cast, and then we're going to invite you up on the stage, and you can share your moments, your best moments during these times or during this pandemic. Okay. So my name is John Johnson. Um, I have uh, a nine-year-old and a six-year-old, and my best moment has been actually making sandwiches. I feel like a sous chef. My kids in the house with me all the time. I'm chopping and making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, but I'm also very proud because that is something that I do a lot more now. John. Okay, let's get this done. Sandwich, sandwich. Yep. Ugh. Hi, I'm Pamela. And uh, I'm a mature woman. I've been living alone uh, with my wife for several years. And now we have a baby during the pandemic living with us. And it has been quite an adjustment. But I'm happy. I'm Pamela. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm no, no, I don't have to hold her. No, not right now. Not right now. She's in good hands. She's in good hands. Hi, I'm Jametta. And my proudest, my proud moment during this time is being able to say no and take care of myself um, without thinking about saving others and helping others and tending to their needs first. Jametta. No, nah, no, 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 you're good. Just get up, stand up, brush yourself off, keep moving. No? Don't have time for that space for myself. Hey, how you doing? My name is Jose, and one of my most proudest moments during the pandemic has been making pancakes, blueberry and banana pancakes for my five and three year old. I've become an expert in making homemade banana and blueberry pancakes. All right, all right. You know the drill. Whisk, 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 whisk. Look for the bubbles. Look for the bubbles. Watch me go. Flip, flip, double flip. Hi, I'm Erin, and my proudest moment in the pandemic has been that March 2020 was the last time I consumed any alcohol. I was not pleased with my relationship to alcohol, namely wine, and I wanted to make a change. And I successfully made that change and it's been over a year now and I'm, I'm really proud of myself. I'm Erin. Dear alcohol, I don't need you anymore. It's been a year and I'm so much better without you. My name is Tamika, and during the pandemic, I'm so proud that I have reclaimed my artistry to the fullest. I'm singing more, writing more, um, all my youth teaching classes, whatever I do with my teaching, I make it all about the music and creating content, putting it out there for people, and it's been amazing. So I'm most proud about that, Tamika. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. I'm Tamika Love Jones. And I need to hit that like button. Hit that like button. Hit that like button, people. <laughs> okay. That, that has been our introduction. Again, this is played back here. Um, I believe the DNA stories are like DNA. And when you share your DNA with other people, you know, it resonates with folks. And we, there's a lot that's learned. So those are real. That's how we feel about the pandemic. You just got to introduce and all the actors. John, you're breaking up. Okay. So you, you just heard from all of our actors and performers. And this is playback theater. So I'm hoping that you guys can hear me. So now we're going to shift and we're going to ask you to tell your story. So in playback theater, we believe that stories are like DNA. 
And when you share your DNA, it sticks to people and it helps influence our connection with one another, especially in these times where we don't feel as connected. So there are 38 people on this call. If you resonated with any of those stories, just hit your, in the top right-hand corner, you can come onto the stage and share your story and we will play back your story. So the question is, what is your proudest moment during the pandemic? And it's, it's fine if you come on with your sandwich and, you know, because we know this is lunchtime, but I'm asking that anyone, you, you, once you hit the little button in the top right hand corner, there'll be a prompt and you'll come on stage, you'll talk to me for a minute, and then we will play back your story. And if there's anyone else who wants to get on, you can also use the chat. You can say, I would like to tell a story, and then Patrick will bring you up. And he put in the uh, chat, uh, share audio video button in the upper right-hand corner. So your proudest moment during the pandemic. Me? Hello, hello, Susan, how are you? I'm fine. I grew up in DC, oh. but that is not my proudest moment. Although <laughs> I liked it a lot. My proudest moment is that we have three, five grand nieces and nephews under the age of five, and okay. we were able to keep in contact with them. This is my acting, you know, this is them going <laughs> round and round and round. And we were able okay. to keep up with them by going outside and being in the yard and wearing masks and just, you know, watching them grow despite the challenge of it. And, and how often did you did you see your grandnieces and nephews? Oh, about once a month, as much as we could, even in winter. It's cold here in Chicago. Okay, you're you in Chicago, and it's cold. Yeah, you yeah it's five, cold. There's five of them. What's that? You said five, right? You said five. Five, five under five, yeah. So our nieces and our husbands, their husbands. So, um, and, a, and a kind of crazy grandmother who was like, don't come near her. You know, <laughs> so, 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 so the, the grandmother didn't want, want to still keep socially distant. Yeah, yeah, you know, she except for her, right? <laughs> no, but she was able. She was able to play with all the kids. But she's like, not, not, not. No, not she's you. Protect, she's protecting the, the babies. That's right. Yeah, oh, and can so. can you share with us one one event that you've done with them? You know, you mentioned many different things, but one thing that stood out the most out of all these interactions. Yeah, we just had a birthday party for uh, the grandmother, right? And okay. um, it was the first time we'd been kind of half vaccinated and felt good enough to, you know, just be more of ourselves. I think it's hard for people with children, do you know? Because there's a fear on the part of parents. So we were able to relax a little and actually, and it was warmer here and that's a lot, that's very helpful, you know? So just kind of kind of have cake and and good barbecues, a place called Smoke near here, and it was wonderful. You know? Okay, cool. And so we're gonna we're gonna have Pamela, Jametta, and Jose play back your story. We're gonna have oh. a three part story. And, and let me let me ask this question: There was a birthday party. Do you know what age this birthday party? You said it was a birthday party, right? Yeah, but I won't tell the grandmother's age. Okay, but but it was but it was for grandma. Yeah, it was for grandma. Okay, can we get grandma's name though? Carol. Carol. Okay. Okay, yeah. so Susan. We're going to play back your story. We want you to stay on. Oh, and I don't want to see myself. <laughs> no, you, you're not going to see yourself. You're going to see your story play back. But we just want you to stay oh, on because we, we want you, we want we want you to after you see the story that you just told play back. We want some feedback from you. That's it. Okay. So you should can I stay on camera. Should you, I leave? No, no. You should can stay right. You just stay right there and watch the screen. You can see everyone All on right. the screen, right? All right. Okay. Cool. So, so Susan, I'm going to disappear and I'm going to come back on, but you're going to see the performance play back your story. Susan, right. let's watch. All right. Yes. Yes. I love my babies. It's my birthday. I get to see my babies. You social distance, stay away. But my babies, <laughs> come on over here. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Grandma Carol. Grandma, 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 we're here for you. It's your day. We all got different masks. The children, the laughter. Things are looking up from here. Yeah. 
Who's got the burnt grilled in cheese? Who's got it? Okay, who's got the brisket? Okay, over here, over here, over here. All right, the cornbread, put it right in the middle. All right, bring some juice. Everybody okay? Kids, hey, put that down. Put that knife down. It's sharp. Okay, the cake is coming. The cake is coming. The cake is coming. Oh, my God, the cake is coming. Let's go. Okay, okay, calm down. Shh, shh, shh. Ready? We are family. I've got everybody with me. We are a family. Pandemic, you can't take it away from me. Okay, thank you. Thank you, performers. You can turn your cameras off. Thank wow. you so much. That was great. So how, 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 how did that feel watching that, Susan? Oh, so, emo so emotional. So emotional. You did it beautifully. Okay, thank so you. Wonderful. So we, this, is, this, is, this is the magic of storytelling, you know? Hope you feel heard and validated. Thank you so much, Susan. Thank you. Okay, so you guys are getting the gist of it. Thank you, Susan, for being the first person to pop on and talk about how, you, how you've been able to survive in this one pandemic. Who else would like to pop their camera on and share their best moment? Oh, hi. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, my name is Javi. Hello, Javi. So, 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 where, what, what has been your, what is, what is your, where's your story began? Um. So, well, I have lived in New York for four years, but I'm originally from Chile, and this pandemic has been very hard because now more than ever, I've been very nostalgic of home. And even though if I were at home, I wouldn't be able to see anybody anyway. <laughs> but um, it, it just has felt so, so far away. Um, but at the same time, I guess now that everybody's on Zoom and everything, um, in the four years I've been here, I've also had super <laughs> connection with everybody. But just like that lack of touch of being there with my grandparents or my dad, my sister. Um, so work has been, I guess, without... Um, intentionally, but the, the division between work and life has been hard. Um, mm -hmm. And it took me several months to put a little bit of, of a hard stop and, and try to do more stuff for myself. And, and, and so, and, and so your, your moment is, is, are you saying that, so what are some of the memories of home that you, that you, that stick, that stick with you? Of home back, you mean back in Chile? Yeah, you talked about nostalgia. You said so. What are some of the? You said you said your grandparents. What? Give me another another image of home that you. That oh you... right, yeah. Um, well, I guess. Well, I'm not sure. I, I guess every culture is the same, but at least in mine, um, food is a big one. Um, so I miss my my mom's cook uh, cooking stuff. Um, at, back home, they're called roscas. Roscas. Which is, yeah, which is kind of like a. It's not a donut. It's like a. What's it called? Them the the donut. Um, well, let's say it's a it's a, uh, it's like a donut. Um, okay. And I don't know. Um, just like seeing, um, or maybe maybe just hanging out, seeing a movie or something with my sister. Okay. And, 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 and you and you mentioned you said now like the adjustment in the pandemic of kind of like finding your own niche. What, what, what was that moment? What was that moment that, that you were like, oh, now sure. I, I kind of, I'm, I'm adjusted. I'm finally adjusted to this. What, what? Yeah, the boundary between life and work, remote work. Um, so I've been trying to connect a little bit more with crafts. So in the beginning of the pandemic, I tried to draw more, uh, but that didn't work out that much. But then I discovered felting. Um, do you know felting? No, what is, like, what is felting? What is felting? So... Uh, you know how you have wool um, and it's not shaped okay and if you have a needle and you basically stab it to death you create something beautiful out of it <laughs> <laughs> so so fel so felting has been your 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 newfound love during the pandemic yeah a little bit yeah okay. you basically are like putting all your stress into this <laughs> wool and then you create a teddy bear a little okay. whale okay. something <laughs> okay okay so so we're going to we're going to have Jose Pamela and Aaron play back your story. Tell us, and if you were to, if you were to give us a title to this 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 story that you shared with us, what would the title be? Oh, I don't know. I told you so many things. You come up with the title. <laughs> I, I, want you, I want you to come up with the title. I, I just want I want to hear I want to hear a title from the many things you just shared with us. You shared a little bit about your culture, the, these donuts. Yeah. yeah. So, so so give us a title. Um. Uh, 
Oh man, I don't know. Uh, maybe something with the felting. I guess that like um, uh, stabbing the stress out of things. <laughs> stabbing the stress out of things. Tell tell me your name one more time. Javi. Javi. So Javi, I'm gonna say let's watch, and we're gonna watch your story playback. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Javi, let's watch. It's time to feel creative and get in touch with me. Hola, abuela. ¿Cómo estás? ¿De todo está bien aquí en Nueva York? Mi apartamento, mira. Ahí, en ese quién es. Es mi cuarto, bien pequeño, pero está bien. Y ahí, ese lado es mi baño, bien pequeño, pero está bien. ¡Ay, Dios mío! ¡Mira esa rosca! ¡Yo quiero uno! ¡Ay! Guarda uno para mí, por favor. I miss my roscas, but I love my new life here. la, 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 la. I've been working on the wall all day, stabbing it away. I miss my mommy's grotesque eye. Oh, look at it. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to make some things with this wonderful felt for my friends and my family. Hello. I miss you. You're so far away. I miss you. I miss my home, miss my family, but I am here now. Thank you, performers. You can turn your cameras off. Javi, how was Thank that the that. how was that the watch? <laughs> it was beautiful. <laughs> um, I'm a very uh, sensitive and emotional person, so I admit that I had to hold it a little bit. <laughs> hold it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for, for popping on and sharing your sharing your culture and your story your story with us. Appreciate thank it. Thank you for this. This is great work. Right, thank you. Okay, so who's next? Pam, you can turn your camera off until we we um. Be called upon. So there, there, there are a whole bunch. Of, there's some folks in the chat that said that was terrific. This is such. This is so beautiful. I'm getting teary. Hello, Tiffany. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, we can hear you fine. Excellent. Um, so my proudest moment was at the beginning of the pandemic, my mom was scheduled to have some uh, pretty major surgery and they tried to push it off. And the problem with them pushing it off is that she was really at high risk for a stroke and heart attack. And I knew that it was going to be miserable for her if she was living with that fear, the whole pandemic. So I spent a lot of hours on the phone uh, trying to convince the doctors she did need the surgery. And it turns out she really, really did. And um, she came through it great. And she's had a much more peaceful pandemic from having been taken care of at the beginning. So so this you say your moment is being an advocate for your mom, basically. Yep. Okay. And, and, and so have you had any conversation with your mother about this this particular incident? Like has have you shown gratitude? She showed gratitude in any type of way about it? She sure has. And um she ended up having to have a second surgery during the pandemic. And so we went through the whole COVID testing and I went home and, and helped take care of her again. And um she has just been so, so grateful that, um, you know, I've been willing and able to do that, even though it's a long drive home because I'm in Boston and they're in upstate New York. So it's about a, a 10 hour drive round trip. There's no other way to get there. But, um, you know, we've we've gotten to, you know, spend a lot of time bonding through all of this. OK, so I have a few, I have a few more questions. So, OK, um, 
what what is your mother's name? Ruth. Ruth. Okay. Yep. And, 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 and is there any like significant conversation that has come from all of these trips and, and this care, like something you're like, oh, I wouldn't. This conversation would have never happened, or you you mentioned something, or told me a story, or there was a bond that was created from this experience with your mother. Um, that's a good question. Um, I would say it was more just about having some fun together in the middle of the pandemic. You know, I I was cooking, you know, some of her favorite foods like uh, stuffed cabbage, and uh -huh. uh, you know, um, just uh, being able to to be there and, and cheer up when she wasn't feeling well and help her around, which she said. Um, you know, I guess one of the things that was really meaningful, she's like, you know, I never, never realized I'd be in a position where you had to help take care of me. And she said, I'm, I'm very humbled that you're willing to do that. And I was like, mom, you know, that's what you did for me all my life. I, I can only, you know, return the favor. Okay, cool. So, Sydney, we have Aaron, Jametta, and Jose play your story back. If you okay. Were, if you were a title, what would the title be? Um, I think it would be Taking Care of Mom. Taking care of mom, oh, a mom. Okay, so we're gonna yeah. talk about your mom, Ruth. All right, Tiffany, okay. let's watch. I will take care of you because you gave birth to me. Tiffany? I need you, baby girl. I need you. I need you, baby girl. Don't let your love pass me by. I will take care of you. Jametta, you muted. Until the end of COVID. I mean, she has surgery now. I am her daughter. I am her advocate. I am her cheerleader. I am here for my mother. So glad that I took care of you. And now we can do what we're meant to do. I know you care about my health. And I appreciate that. It's it, it means the world to me. But I just got to tell you, this cabbage does not need turkey bacon. You give me the real pastrami. Put real meat in here. I don't want any more of this cat food type of stuff. Okay, surgery doesn't mean it's the end of the world for me. Okay, if you're gonna stuff a cabbage, stuff a cabbage. Yes, I will take care of you because you've been there for me. Thank you. Thank you, guys. That was beautiful. I almost so, just like Javi, I've got a little teared up there. Well, well, thank you. Thank you, Tiffany. And thank you for, for showing, you know, the, the love that all parents probably are looking forward to, you know? You know? Well, that, that, that's, that's a beautiful story of connection to the loved one. Uh, when we're grown ups, oftentimes yeah. you know, we don't talk about the way we feel love and care for our, our, our moms and dads. So, and this is the time where they, they've been the most vulnerable. So, thank you. Yeah, thank, for you sure. for thank you, Tiffany. Thank you. Okay, okay. So, you guys got the hang of it now. We have some other types of special forms that we can, we can present. If someone wants to share the story, please log on. Your upper right hand corner. You hit share video. <laughs> Patrick says, don't be shy. There are 42 people on here. I know there's stories percolating in your mind. And if, and if your story is a little different than the stories you've heard, also, we want to hear those stories too. You know, all stories aren't alike. And like, again, we say that the stories are like the DNA. So we want to hear your DNA, we want to hear your uniqueness. I'm going to play ball. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so where, where does your story begin? Uh, so I've been one of these moms kind of caregiving and working and managing a lot of things. So um, that's kind of where what my focus has been is kind of juggling a lot of balls and keeping them all in the air. 
Okay, so you've been juggling a lot of balls. Can you, can you give me a little a little bit more detail on the things that you're doing? So you said you've been caretaking. Who are you? Who have you been caretaking? For? Um, I've got two young children, a four year old and a six year old. Okay. And um, we have opted to uh, keep them at home for the past year okay. uh, and do virtual school. So we've had to go through lots of um, changes with regard to school in the past year. Um, and making sure that, um, you know, they stay on track so that when they reintegrate, um, they don't fall behind. Um, and which has been kind of difficult, you know, cause I know we're in a pandemic and I know we are um, in an unusual situation, but in the back of my mind are all the things that happens to little black boys you know, in the public school system. So, you know, I can't afford for, I can't afford to let this year go. Um, and, you know, I wonder if we're even doing the right thing. Cool. So, you know? so, so can we, tell me your name real quick. My name is Racine. Racine. So Racine, we're going to yes. do, we're going to do something, something different. Pamela, okay. I, I, we're going to do a narrative V. So Pamela, I want you to be the head of the narrative V. At, and Racine, I have to ask you a few more questions. So you mentioned the caretake, sure. the caretaking of, of your, you have two boys? I have a boy and a girl. A boy and a girl. Okay, so you, you mentioned like the, the home, the, the online learning that's been going on and yep. wondering, wondering as a parent if you've been, if you made the right choice, like, like should, should we, yes. you know? Okay, so that's, that's one thing that's, that's kind of on your plate. All right, and so what are, what are the other things you mentioned? Um, I, I started two businesses during the pandemic. Okay. Um, which uh, one was out of my need to um, express myself creatively uh, oh, and yeah. focus on all the things that I've never been able to focus because I never focused on because I didn't have the time. Um, and then the second one was more out of the, um, you know, one of the consequences of the pandemic, I was laid off uh, and saw this as an opportunity to do something Okay. So there's, oh. a, there's a, I'm sorry, there's a, there's a little delay. So go, go ahead, finish, please. I never followed through. Yeah, I, I, I can hear you, but I think, you're, okay, your camera just popped off and popped back on. So, oh, yes, I'm finished. So you, I just want to be clear. You said you started a creative business and a business based upon the pandemic being laid off during the pandemic. What, what was the creative business? Does it have a name? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so it's called Queen Oya's Wares. And um, I haven't been able to put as much effort in it as um, I would like, okay. but uh, I was making um, making masks, sewing masks. What is Ankara? Um, For folks who don't know what Ankara um, is. Ankara, I have like a huge stash of Ankara in my house. And, oh, okay. oh okay. it's um, African fabric, wax fabric. So, um, so I was doing that. I started making soaps and other um, things that will eventually be in um, in the store. But uh, uh, I, I really enjoyed making the soaps and just constructing things and making things with my hands. Um, okay, so you, you, you sound like you're a busy And mama. the other business is more consulting. <laughs> and, okay, so, um, so if you had thing. to put a title on these things that you shared with us, what would that title be? I am a busy mom, yes. A title. Um, giving birth and taking care. All right, so Russell, you about to say <laughs> giving, giving birth, giving and, birth taking and taking care, care of business. I, I, okay, of business. I like that. Giving birth, taking giving care birth of and taking care of business. So, all of our performers, can you please turn your cameras on? Double entendre. And we're going. You're going to see your story play back a little bit differently than we than you you've seen the other stories. But <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. All right, Racine. Okay, let's watch. This is Racine's story. Oh yeah, I can do that. Oh sure, I can do that. Two kids, four and six. I've got to address both of them. Their home, the pandemic, 
Whoa. Wow. Home schooling. You get yours, you get yours. You work for me. Hmm. Mm -hmm. But I am created. I've been blessed to use my hands, my precious, creative hands. They're masked to be worn, but I love making that soap. Soap. That cleansing, wonderful, smelling soap. I haven't forgot. I've got your assignment. I haven't forgot. I've got your assignment. My, my babies, my black babies. I know I'm good for them. I may be the best. Public school, who knows? My babies. My babies. My babies. My babies. All of this on my plate right now. I wonder, wonder. about my babies. My baby, my baby. I'm doing the right thing. Thank you so much for that. I love spoken words, so I really, really appreciate the format. I am amazed at everyone's ability to create on the spot. Um, that is awesome. Thank you, Racine. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for, for, for shining light on, on all of the, all of the homes and families and all that people are, are as, as folks, as folks are in the chat, how many folks can relate to that story? If you can relate to that story, type something in the chat. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. So who's next? Does anyone else want to tell a story? We have, we have, we only have time for one more. So if someone, okay, there we go. Zara. Hello. How are you? I really love all the stuff that you guys are doing. I haven't seen a performance in the longest time. So this has been really <laughs> enjoyable. <laughs> this is the best we can do because we can't have live performances. And we actually <laughs> live, by the way, for folks who are watching, like this initially is a live art form and we, we, we had to shift to this digital platform. So Zara, where does your story begin? Uh, I don't know if it's story exactly, but um, so in the pandemic, it's been a year, but in the middle of that, I got engaged um, and I am um, from India. So much like Javi, I haven't seen my family in a very long time. And I'm kind of looking down the barrel of getting married without my family there. Um, so I'm trying to figure out like what the best thing to do is. I don't know if it's a story necessarily, but um, it's just been a very interesting experience, and um, yeah, just thought I would share. Okay, so so there's some excitement about being engaged. Mm -hmm. can, you, can you tell us kind of like how it happened? Yeah, um, it was really cute, actually. Um, my fiance uh, tricked me into going to a restaurant, um, which is near the beach, and then he said, "Oh, you know, actually, they pushed our uh, reservation." So do you want to go walk on the beach? So I said, okay. And he said, hey, you want to go walk in that spot over there? And I was like, that's fine. And then he proposed in public um, and all these people on this beach walking their dogs started cheering. And it was very, uh, it was a lot. <laughs> and then he had a <laughs> photographer in a bush. Um, so it was a lot of coordination that I myself would not have been able to do. Um, so I was just very impressed with him. And it was the kind of thing you don't expect to happen during a pandemic. Okay, so so um who is your what's your partner's name? Derek. Derek, okay. So 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 Derek you guys were at a restaurant, the reservation got pushed along. 
and he said, let's go on the beach. Can you go to that spot right there? <laughs> where, yeah. Where there's a photographer in the bushes. He proposed, mm-hmm. said folks walking their dogs. There was this major applause. How did it make you feel? This, uh, what, what were you feeling during this, this time when all of this was going on? Honestly, totally shocked. Like, I think most people would have found it all very uh, suspicious. Like, what do you mean they moved the reservation? What do you mean they can still take your car and valet parking? Like, it, it was a lot. Of, what do you mean you want me to wear a dress? Like, I should have seen it coming, but I absolutely <laughs> didn't. And I was very shocked. So I don't even know how to describe the emotion. Okay, so, so the, the, you said shock. So there's a feeling of shock. We're going to do a four-part story. We're going to have Aaron, Jose, Pamela, and Jametta. Um, and, and, so, and so you mentioned a little bit about, about so the wedding is when, when, when are you guys getting married? Um, I, I don't know, but it, it's seeming like it might be in the next eight months, and I don't know if my family can come. So, so, there's, there's, so although there's this excitement, there's also the, the realization that because we're in a pandemic, the wedding may not happen the way traditionally weddings take place. And, and, yeah. and you, said, you, you is there is there something culturally that 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 will also elevate that even more? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't even know that yet. I'm kind of scared to ask because like then find out all the cultural requirements. So I'm just sort of like. <laughs> 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 So, so the, the family in India doesn't know? Not, I mean, they kind of know. They, some of them know, but not all of them know because it, once they find out, then it's going to be, it's going to be really stressful. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so so if, you, if you could put a title to this story, what, what would the title of this story be? Uh, a sh- shocking engagement. Shocking engagement. Okay, so, so Zara, let's watch. You stay on stay on screen. Sorry, let's walk. Something's in the air. I can feel it. Something's in the air. I can feel it. Welcome, everyone. I'm so glad you came to the dress rehearsal. I am Derek. Okay, everyone at the ready. Dress. You're the one that she's going to wear. Yes, you, the red one. Bush, you're going to hide the photographer. Where's the photographer? There you are. That is your hiding place. Waves. At exactly the right moment. I want you to come up, but I want you to come down. Sun, you will be setting right there. Give your all to me, I give my all to you. Love your curves and all your edges, all your perfect imperfections. Eric, I'm so hungry. Look, I want to go to this restaurant. I, I, I believe it's going to be nice. You have good taste. So come on, let's just get a slice of something. Thank you, thank you. I'm happy that you like what I'm wearing. I appreciate it. But you hear that? She's talking to you. Yes, she is talking to you. <sighs> okay, okay. Fine, fine. I'll hold here. Hold my shoes and let's just hit the stand. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Give your all to me, I give my all to you. I get it closer. I got, I got to get it really close there. Yeah, Derek, Derek, Derek wants a picture of that dress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they, they, they're so beautiful. Look at the crowd. Let me get a big picture of the crowd. Wow, wow, I wish I had sound on here and could hear all of that going on. Wow, that girl's gorgeous. Yeah, that's a good one right there. Pop, he's gonna love him. Love your curves and all your edges. Love your every imperfection. Give it to you. Zara, Zara, congratulations. We wish we could be there. We hope that we can be there. Eight months. You know, we have to talk about a lot of other things, right? 
Slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll talk about it another day, but we have some other things to talk about. Congratulations. It's a pandemic, but we're gonna get married. It's a pandemic, but we're gonna get married. All right, Zola. That was so good, you guys. <laughs> How was that to watch? It was almost like you were there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing and congratulations. Thank you. Okay, folks. So, so this brings us to the end. Um, I want to say that playback theater is done all over the place. We, we have an offering. Um, and um, we have 60 minute and 90 minute shows. Um, I'm gonna put my information in the chat. So if you guys wanna reach out and, and do some connection of collaborating, you're welcome to do so. But before we go, yeah, but we have one special little thing that we do called Once There Was. So we're gonna do Once There Was, I'm gonna come back on and John at Verbal Gymnastics, or verbalgymnastics.com is where you can reach me. Um, I wanna shout out to Sibley and Veronica because they, they gave us the opportunity um, to create this innovative art form to connect people. Um, and we've used it to talk about the trepidation around um, vaccines. Um, it's very useful in, in um, professional development and connecting folks, especially when we're all on these computers. So again, if you want to reach out, feel free to contact me at John at Verbal Gymnastics. But here's our last little treat, and it's called Once There Was. So let's watch. Once there was a woman named Tiffany with a mother named Ruth. She advocated for Ruth's surgery and got it. You tell that doctor, I will not take no for an answer. I got you, mama. Once there was a woman who said, is this really happening? Yes, 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 I'll marry you. Get that car, get it over there. Get, get rid of it. Don't let him in yet, don't let him in yet, don't let him in yet. This is back to work. Don't let him in yet. Once there was a mother and daughter that drove for 10 hours from Boston to upstate New York with a back seat full of stuffed cabbage. Mm. I made this for my mama. Yes. This is so delicious. But cabbage. Once there was a mother who had two children but made this amazing smelling soap. Oh my God, and these masks. The material is so beautiful. Mm. Mommy! I love everyone. <laughs> I, I, I see you, honey. Everyone <sighs> will need one. Once there was a woman who really, really missed her family and her home country of Chile. <sighs> These donuts in the States are not that great. Moroska. Once there were five little girls who had a great aunt who loved them so much. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> Can we go outside? Can we go outside? It's a birthday. It's a birthday. It's a distance. Cool. And so this 
It's Playback Theater, you guys. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I know we can be connected, but um, this is the best way of connecting. This is the best way to use creativity. Um, again, we feel like stories are like DNA. When we share our DNA with one another, we become connected. So again, if you want to see this fun in your institution, your village, your tribe, please contact us. And thank you so much for sharing your stories. Without your stories, we wouldn't be able to play these things back. So thank you so much, everyone. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your conference.